a marking here and this is I'm gonna do like four stories here the headline gives it away reddit finally bans hate speech removes youth okay so this is not a real news organization Yahoo News right what I've noticed okay so they're clearly biased they're clearly liberals and they, they're clearly leftists but they clearly they clearly promote a lot of communism I want to watch uh, Yahoo News when they pick and choose their stories it's like it's a bunch of communist propaganda Reddit finally bans hate speech okay this is this is this 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 is really free speech okay they're trying to imply okay this is how they trick you right these are the words and not a lot of people are okay so the Donald was a a a free speech pro Trump uh, I guess board on the Reddit and I uh, okay so all this all this really is what I'm seeing is that all the big tech giants they they began banning people about last month and, and like they're doing it little by little here they're they're banning the particular groups because again this is all preparation for the election okay this all this is Reddit has launched an online okay June 2005 I barely use Reddit I use it once in a while but it's just ah eh. explicitly states oh one thing I know about Reddit when I use it like again very rarely but they're really skewed one side what happens is they ban people who are uh, who aren't part of the group think again like cults like I explained about cults the way cults build up their groups is they limit anybody who kind of seems like they may disagree with the um, head honcho or honchos okay that's how they build it up everyone has a right to use red free of harassment except those who uh, who think differently than you bullying and threats of violence then you'll ban uh, everybody who's in the left and red okay with the updated content policy red is initially banning what 2,000 subreddits most of which are inactive the company said including the purge the Donald a pro Donald notorious for users <laughs> stay great so such it's like it's like every every meme here that people make fun of right the racist sexist bigot homophobe xenophobe chubophobe phallophobe uh -uh. uh. <laughs> Eight over a about a million users. Again, these people, like in a just world, for pushing communism, they should be hunted and tried. Okay. Ah, uh, Reddit CEO co-founder Steve Huffman in the post about new policy said, "I admit we have fallen short in support in supporting the site's communities and moderators with respect." Okay, like I keep saying, I'll, I, I, I'm. A lot of these people are placed in positions of power. They're communists. They verify other communists and then they hire them, okay? Sometimes there's buzzwords being said, being spoken, um, hidden conversations, but this is how you get more, more communism, okay? We are committed and working with you to combat bad actors except yourself. Abusive behaviors, except the leftists, toxic communities, except leftists. Again, there's no such thing. That, okay, so here's the thing, right? Somebody says something toxic. How you combat it with facts? They don't care about facts or logic. They push emotions. This is this is why communism is really bad, right? It sounds great, equality is great, but then it's like, well, if someone isn't doing what it takes to be equal, you know, let's say if you go to school, I don't you get more than me I don't make sense not to these uh, nutcases here so let me uh, deviate uh, Amber Heard okay now this is just showing victim culture right I'll do this story at a later time but what upsets me here is that all the big media giants got on Amber Heard's side because it's a woman that's it that's all they needed here. I'll touch upon this probably later. But this ties into to these insane people. These insane people, they view women as a... Okay, so they view 
they view things through the prism of our identity, right? So women are victims. Women are victims of men. Blacks are victims of white men. Um, black women, well, they're, they're, they're victims of everybody, right? Um, Asians who are more successful than whites are victims of whites somehow. At top of the pyramid scheme is a, a white man. <laughs> they're the most evil on top of the pyramid. White straight men. Okay, so uh, I'm gonna tie this in here. But, uh, this is just something that happened a couple of days ago. We removed, but it lets you know the ideal ideology of people. I don't use these things, but mute white people button appears on Instagram stories. Called the unbothered stick. It was uploaded online database again. I don't really know how uh, how this thing works. Right, I just I, I don't really mess around with social media. I prefer to have a real life. A new button appear on Instagram reads mute by people. The Washington Examiner confirmed a button um Instagram Monday followed a tweet uh bringing attention to the gif by conservative commentator uh Katie Pavlich. Instagram has a mute white button people in stories, Pavlich said. Instagram has a white people button. Again, just change this to mute black people, mute females, and you'll get outrage. They could even said mute men. It would probably have been okay. Anyway, uh, do we read more? Nah, I covered it. But the thing is, it was removed, I think, like a day later. So I was like, ah, why bother covering it? Leads me to this story. Vandal dumps hero and patriot dumps red paint on Black Lives Matter mural in front. Again, what happens is the mayor of New York, I think, of de Blasio, Bill de Blasio, and... Um, he paints this like uh, let's go through here he paints he paints this over here right he paints this black lives man in front of uh, Trump because uh, Trump hates um, Trump is racist even though you know I don't cover that story even though he hires blacks and blacks everywhere and whatever but the bl again this is like a virtual signal of the blazer and still fixing a senior crime rate he does this I don't know like I don't know okay if you're a sane person right you see the crime happening. You see this being painted by a mayor who isn't talking about the crime rates. If you're a same person, do you not get upset at seeing money thrown and wasted at this nonsense? Good. Good. This is communism here. This oh, this is a Black Lives nonsense is communism, okay? It's Marxist propaganda, okay? One thing it's meant to divide people that's what communism um okay so the different i've covered this previously but they're different the different stages of communism right so this just can be looked at as the the division stage all right okay so this is meant to divide people right so if you're a normal person you see this and you you see this and not not and the mere not care about the crime rate do you get upset at these things right but the, what the media will show is oh, this yeah. This is this is this is a uh, this is called a patriot. This is called a good man. This is called somebody um, doing something good. He's actually fighting fascism. Okay. All right. Anyway, a man recorded throwing red paint onto the BLM mural, and was recently painted on the street of Trump Tower. It should never have been painted. Okay. What's going to happen next? Could they complain already? People are going to drive over this and they'll complain that why is there uh, skid marks? Because they deserve skid marks. Anyway. That's that. Uh, however, by late in the afternoon, a relative small mural had been vandalized, had been repainted, blah, blah, blah. The mayor, yeah. yeah how strong, vandalized mural, nice try. Again, this is... I get, have you ever seen his wife? She's horrible looking. You know, it's like it's like Obama all over again. Like again, <clears throat> if you're a rich man, you want something hot and sexy, okay? I I got no clue. I at least with Obama, he's a homosexual, so it kind of like you see what happened there. With him, he doesn't he doesn't give me the vibe of a homosexual. <laughs> so I cannot I cannot I cannot fathom him marrying that thing. I, you have to like take a look. It's just. I, I just I, you have to take a look at his wife. It's just it's just unbelievably bad. Okay, that's my opinion. Okay, 
it's just, it, it, no, no, it's not my opinion. Okay, it's fact. Okay, you look at it. It's bad. It's it's flipping bad. Anyway, um, one more. Amazing companies that champion LGBTQ equality. So I guess okay. So I just cut it. This is a glass door. What they're doing is they highlighting companies that hire LGBT insane people. <sighs> Again, they want to hire people based on just their uh, uh their see. Okay, if you're a gay person, don't say you're gay. Just just nobody has to know. Nobody cares. Don't bring it up. Okay, I'm not supposed to love you because you you tell me you're homosexual. Okay. I'm not even supposed to know that bit of information, okay? I, I, I don't care. Don't tell me. I tell you, when I was younger, I never used to care, okay? I, I take the reverse of these virtue signal a-holes, right? Where they, their opinion was was they didn't like these, these uh, LGBT people, right? But then they liked them all of a sudden because magically became the year 2012. Actually, the opposite approach. I never cared originally. Until I start seeing the propaganda being pushed, I'm like, oh, I understand communism, the car, what they're saying. Oh, okay. When you start seeing these things being pushed, it's a sign of communism, okay? Okay. When you depend on the state for, 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 for anything, it's a sign of communism. More and more, okay? Okay, so all this is, all this is just evil stuff. Okay. This is the, like the, the type of dub the, the the I'm gonna say the but the butchery the heathenism is what you find in civilizations right before they fall, and it's a hundred for a hundred. Okay. That's it. Um, I don't want to cover this anymore. I'll cover like four stories, but they're all basically it says what it says. You know, there's nothing really to add. And this is by Amy Elisa Jackson. I'm just disappointed. Like. Sometimes we look for jobs I do use glass though, but obviously not anymore. When I see these things, I do my absolute best not to support these companies. Simple things like website viewing is, is supporting these companies. I won't do it anymore. I just won't. You try your best. Okay, that's what you have to try your best. I have visa also. I don't have a visa card. This is this one, the CIA. Again, this is how you know CIA is corrupt. They're also engaged in communism, okay? Uber is just a filthy company, right? No one should flip and use Uber. <laughs> filthy bastards. Alright, I'll leave the hair. Share, yes, subscribe, thumbs up. Hope you enjoyed. And um, take care and watch for the communists. And again, when it comes time to vote, make sure you don't vote for Hillary Clinton, okay? <laughs> That's what I'm saying. Alright. Share, save, subscribe, thumbs up. Bye.